So, brother Mike. Mike, we haven't seen you for a while. How are you doing, bro? I'm all right. All things considered, I've had a few uh, challenges, a few obstacles, but I'm still here, still fighting strong. Any messages for uh, Bob the Builder and uh, the Dal uh, Christian teams yeah. down at Manchester, uh, um, down at Hyde Park? Bob, we're supporting you 100%, mate. Keep going, don't give up, and don't be discouraged because you've got the whole host of heavens back in your way back in your way down in Manchester. And hopefully, we're going to come see you soon and support you and present some other arguments for you to help with us and just to show the world that Islam is not a godly religion or it's from God in any way but Jesus Christ is the only way. And what do we think of Bob the Builder? We think you're awesome Bob, keep up the good work mate and we're 100% behind you mate. Um, keep finding arguments and argument straw and um, flaws in their doctrine, just keep bringing it to the high part, just let the whole world see it. Just keep bringing it mate, keep pushing strong. And uh, what about Lizzie and their team, what do we think of them? Um, Lizzie and their team, I think Lizzie and their team, um, they're doing good, but I think some of the topics they could get into, uh, just use them against Islam rather than just keep attacking Mohammed, I think you just need to look at, really, um, look at the, the arguments with regards to the doctrines and the history of Islam, that kind of thing. Just get into that, expose that a bit more. Yeah. But yeah. Other than that, keep good work. Don't don't back down and uh, don't be intimidated. Just keep lifting Jesus up. Yeah. And uh, what do you think is happening down at Hyde Park? Muslims are in a disarray at the moment. There's confusion down there, and it's not as fruitful as I've seen it at Hyde Park with regards to. I think um, when it comes to debate, we need to. Uh, it needs to be more academic at Hyde Park, rather than everyone shouting over yeah, each other. More civil. It needs to be more civil down there. It's a bit of disorder down there, um, and that's due to the fact that the fact is that when you expose something that's not true, people are going to defend it. Whether it, you know, it's just blind faith. Yeah. So yeah, it just needs a bit of order down there. So we'll just pray for a bit of peace and order down there. And, uh, and uh, has, has God been saying anything to you recently? Um, he's saying just keep just keep hanging on in there. Yeah, just keep yeah. hanging on. Um, don't keep keep your eyes on Jesus. And don't focus on circumstances, but keep sight on Him. Uh, well, um, what do you think uh, the the future is for us? Like going down there. What what do you think uh, our next step is? With you? The best thing we can do is. Uh, with regards to exposing Islam and really hit home the message of the gospel to the Muslims, show them what's lacking in their faith and show them why they need our faith. Um, it's not all about apologetics, but we need to we need to also uh, what's the word? We need to touch the hearts of yeah, Muslims yeah. as well, rather than have arguments. Yeah. We aim to see people saved. We aim to be, yeah, we aim to see people saved. Uh, and, uh, and brought into discipleship, and brought into discipleship as yeah. well as answering their arguments. As well as answering their arguments, yeah. um, What advice would you give uh, young Christians going down there? Because we see a lot of Christians going down there. What advice would you give them? Uh, I would say be prepared, do your homework, study, and expect trouble when you're down there. Expect argument because you will get it, whether you're not argumentative, argumentative or not, you will get it. Um, be strong, be courageous, and from there you need a thick skin when you're down there, basically. And you need to know your stuff. And um, yeah, just study uh, and, just, and watch the videos and be aware of what the tactics they're using. And how do you think uh, God has used us and, and us as a Royal Blood Ministries? Like, how, how do you think He's used us? He's used over our, the uh, over the yeah. He's used us. And our knowledge of Islam and our knowledge of scripture and arguments we've been watching, he's used that to really put a dent down there and to, uh, to be an inspiration to others to look at that thing. You know what, I can defend that, I can do this. You know, he's used us as basically a, a starting point for others to follow. Amen, amen. And, uh, last thought, a thought for the year, bro. Any thought for the year? Yeah, I think we should just keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, uh, Keep meeting up, be strong. 
let's just crack on with the work of ministry and uh, saving souls. And I can't stress enough, though, the importance of prayer and being in the church community and having, you know, having that community of believers around you. I do stress that. It's good to get involved. It's good to have that. Uh, so yeah, just just keep going the way we've been going. Um, let's just look at new angles in which to uh, bring the gospel to people who need it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, brother.